Welcome back to Seat Story Cup 3. Martos is alongside Lothar and Kriparian. Uh, and this is the last match of the night. Yep. Last match of this group. Of course, Lothar, you already got out in first place. Congrats again. Yeah, I can too. Yeah, pretty we're gonna, we're pretty gonna sick. Comes in second yeah. here. You get to watch these nerds that you already beat down and uh, commentate about that. But uh, before we get into that, I actually have a few things I got to show you guys. What do you, and what do you uh, sell out. Here. <laughs> That's it. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at my monitor. First off, you should be following this guy on Facebook. I will do it. Okay. Now. Like, update your relationship status. You're in love with Take TV. And come over here. Of course, we've already talked about some of the other stuff going on. But right now, we have a Seat Story Cup 3 raffle. So you just go right here, click on that. And this is so easy. Okay. First off, need for seats. You guys like them? Yeah. They're pretty awesome, right? Yeah, they're sweet. They're pretty awesome seats, and uh, they do a lot for the esports scene. They sponsor just about everything, and uh, Seat Story Cup, the best of those, almost everything. And see, there's all sorts of cool stuff you can win in this. All you have to do is fill this out. Look at how easy this is. This zip code might be hard, but ask your mom. She knows what it is. So type that in, online. hit enter, and that's going to be good for you. Uh, one other thing I want to show you. We'll jump over here. This is where you are right now on the stream page of TakeTV.net. Or where you should be. Yeah, you should be there. What, you're just sitting on the Twitch page. Come on. Uh, all right, go over, click media, and you can scroll down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and see the galleries? Day one, see Story Cup 3? There's a Flickr page up with a lot of beautiful pictures of a lot of beautiful humans. Oh, look at that. It's me with the forehead laughing. And, and you beer. have a beer. Look at these great pictures on here. Can you show beer before like 10 p.m. in Germany? Is that a thing? Am I going to jail? <laughs> I don't know. But it's already after 10, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn, it's like it's actually almost midnight. midnight. But midnight. Anyways, you can mind. see. Oh, look. It's a Moz. But he's not in a sombrero. So you can't submit this for that other nope. contest. Nope. Go to the quick one page. For that. Oh, God. There, there I am center. eating. Look. Oh, my God. Okay. Actually, we're going to stop that now. Oh, that was a sweet Yeah, I do, actually. Yeah. Um, nom, that nom, looks nom, really nom, good. That's what I look like when I eat food. <laughs> You're like really, really aggressive. I'm really into that. Mm -hmm. okay, we're going to go ahead and... What? Yeah, who? I don't know. I've never used Flickr. Uh, but anyways, you can see everyone's here now at this point, guys. It's a really cool page. Uh, definitely go and check those two things out. Enter the raffle. Check out the Flickr page. There's actually a lot of really cool pictures in here, behind the scenes stuff. What's her so, name again? That is Merkel, Merkel man. Merkel. She's the one that's saving Merkel the economy man. of Europe. I don't know, man. I'm living in Greece right now. It doesn't look... It doesn't look well, they need to always to look like this. Okay. <laughs> well, it looks like uh, our games are getting going, guys. It is going to be... The rematch. ...hyped against Zelay. Yeah. That's three in a row for hype, so you guys got to keep that in mind. He, you it's know. for Zelay as well. He was on the other stream. Oh, yeah, right. So, I mean, this, this group was nonstop because we okay. were a little bit behind yeah. after everything yeah. went down. So, this is exhausting. Yeah, it certainly is. Ed. Oh, look, it's that type of druid that has a uh, wild growth again. Yeah, that, that's uh, every, every druid I know. Yeah, it seems so. At the end <laughs> you of don't the day have to mully for that. It's like, so I have wild growth. Yeah, so what <laughs> mid range cards can I keep? <laughs> what isn't too greedy? Here? Yeah. It does change so much. Like, the, the difference between just top decking it and actually just starting with it before you mulligan is, yeah. is pretty big. Although it. Actually, it feels better sometimes when you just draw it and it perfect. It is more curve. satisfying. And then you say, yeah. greetings. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I actually do like three well played with that, but I don't play Druid that much. Sure, sure. Uh. Say, it right, say, say that right now. Oh, Don't I don't play Druid much at all. I don't like Druid, man. Yeah, I, I do find it pretty boring, but it's, I don't know, I, I think it's a cool class. I just hate the nervous. It's just, um... Yeah, I hate Innervate, and I hate Wild Growth. And I, I hate playing I on Curve. I didn't want Innervate in the games. I just like Hero Power Pass. Oh, yeah, the Innervates have not been really being drawn. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Maybe just substitute Innervate with uh, Wild Growth. So you have four oh, Wild Growths. Yeah. Oh, that, that was sounds my plan. Good. You can gang up your Wild Growth spell? Yeah, gang up Wild Growth. It's <laughs> pretty good, That'd right? That'd be a pretty cool secret. Like, the next spell your opponent plays, shuffle, like, ten copies of in your deck. Ten. Why stop at three? Three's just not enough. Wow. Because if you can't pick what it is, you need to flood your deck with it. I'm just thinking of having, like, imagine that, then Shaman would be really good because they have, like, Totem Might. Imagine that. Hmm. No, you no want, like, ten sprints in the deck, so you just have a hand of, like, six sprints. <laughs> you, you just sprint, can never get rid you of. You sprint into four more sprints. <laughs> yeah. 
That would Someone be sick actually, fatigue. Um, checked how many cards do you, you can have in your deck with Malorn. Yeah. Before the gang up was introduced, it was like sixty, I think, eighty. I've wait, wait, what? it's something like that. Yeah, you, there's like there's a card oh, cap for a deck, but I've seen it broken before. But maybe it's something that's passed. Wait, how would you even do that? How would you break the card cap? How does this work? What? Um, you, you copy Malorns, like yeah. Infinite. Copy like how copy? I'm confused. Um, you can, yeah, for one, you can copy. For two, I think you can uh, kill Malorn off with a Baron Geddon so and you put two in your deck. Options. I'm pretty sure. You could also have like uh, a double KT. Oh, okay, yeah. KT. Okay, this makes more sense. Yeah. Now. I was like very confused for saying, I'm like, what are you even talking about? Okay, yeah, yeah. So, uh, there is an innervate for you, though, Lothar. It's going to be oh, able to innervate really? that Lanch Ancient of Lore next so turn. That's cool. That's, uh, that's a really good turn of free play. Yeah. Turn three. <laughs> but that's also good. Like six six creature on turn three, it's also cool. yeah. kind of okay, right? Dude, you got it. People have to start teching abusive sergeant to go with this BGH man. I, was like, like I always tech. like that. Yeah. I just go dark iron. <laughs> dark iron. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> turn seven. Yeah. Oh. oh. But where's the keeper when you need it? Yeah. Seriously. Well, I probably draw next turn. Don't worry. Mm. Oh, I think we're going to see uh, Blood Mage uh, Eviscerate here. I would be pretty surprised if we didn't see that. It's not too hard to find. I well, I, He's I like think, in between two of them. Sap is reasonable, but you just don't have anything to follow with Sap. Yeah. No, it seems like Blood Mage Eviscerate is just like a million percent better than anything yeah. else. I do. Imagine if he went for like Sap with that. Blood Mage Sap. Yeah. The sap does one more damage. He already has combo, so if he draws Emperor, he can go nuts. I think he has to just clear that board. I think if you slow down the game, you basically guarantee a win. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. So I mean, the hand actually right? isn't that bad for Slay, though. Yeah, it's it's not so bad. It looks fine. It's fine, but it's not like crazy. Like, he's yeah. not even using the charge on his weapon. The problem is you use the swipe, and then the Violet Teacher comes, uh, comes down. Yeah. But yeah. it doesn't get anything next turn, probably, so that's good. But the druid also lacks turn. Oh, no, no wait, never mind. Because, I mean, you're yeah. just going to play Alright, well, let's say you don't swipe. What are you playing? Yeah. <laughs> you have no choice. You have to swipe and grab. BGH hero no, power. You can, you can force a nature and trade with. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great play with two Savage Roars in your hand. Yeah. I think that's. You know what, Crip? I'm going with that. I think that's what Hype's going to do. do and I think Hype's going to win this tournament after that. It's, it's one for one. Yeah? It's it's perfect mana. Six drop on turn I six. I think of how many spells you had to play to get this to be a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah. That's crazy. Alright, so. He does Lothar's play. <laughs> oh. I, I preferred yours, though, Crip. Okay. That was so unique. Yeah. <laughs> So I don't think just... you actually have Vile Teacher. I think you uh, Shredder. Yes, like, yeah, Shredder. I agree with that. Vile Teacher is too vulnerable. I, uh, there's, I don't think you need tokens right now, and you don't, like, what do you, prep fan? No, get out. Yeah. It's a Shredder turn. Definitely. Next time you can zap whatever comes down. And keep the prep for the sprint. You can zap the actual gun, right? You don't care about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's it's too slow to At just keep playing. At this point, hard like it doesn't matter. Yeah, anymore. it's irrelevant. You can murder him. I think you actually. <laughs> no, I think you actually have violent teacher sap. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Can you do more than that? You think it's worth like prep of this just to get more tokens? Uh, I think, it I might think be. it's too important to get that crucial blade flurry with additional points of damage when you draw the uh, deadly poisons or tinkers, or even Pay if you draw sprint. Yeah. I. Oh, he's actually going to go ahead and just kill it straight. I don't okay. like this at all. You dish so much damage to a creature with, which you didn't to have to mm. deal with. You know? It's only four damage that you lose. But you lost, so much. you lost already one I'm eviscerate, so you have no more eviscerate. I, I was thinking of just eviscerating face just to get the token, so... Like, I, I actually like the sap a little bit more. I mean, Zelay is a million I, percent better than me, but like... I think sap is good. I, I just I think, think HLR would... is too slow to just keep playing, you know? Yeah. I think I went to Sap too, but I mean I can't I can't really disagree with that. Yeah. I mean look at his board and there was already a swipe used, so you probably think he doesn't have a swipe here. Yeah, well okay. If he has a swipe, you're like, oh, okay, I guess you're better than me. 
Well, what does he have? He's already trying to screw it. Really? Uh, what if he does shade yeah. and then drew of the cloth face? Puts him to 24 with a shade. And you count on drawing the second innervate? Um, that wouldn't do it though, because yeah. he's only oh. going to be at 9. No, 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 you kill it. You kill him next. Oh, 9, never mind. Yeah. yeah. But well, you, have, at 10. you have this shade. Uh, and you probably won't die next turn. No, that doesn't no, make you're, sense. No, you're not going to die next turn. Well, I mean, we can see he won't die, but like, even here, I don't think I would think that I'm going to die, most likely. You'd have to have like exactly the right hand. Be like five off these. That still kind of sucks. What to do? Time waits for like, no one. Taunt is not better than charge. Toshly hero power go. No. No, I, so I like slow. the druid uh, shade. I think druid and taunt might be like, yeah. a little better, but it's not going to work out better. Oh, he's Toshly hero power. Look at that. Oh, you could actually just... Oh, that's nice. Toshly, more like Toshly. Too bad there's a sap Zapply. waiting. Sapply? It's just going to give him another spare part. Blade glory. That's fine. I you know. Rack up on those. <laughs> so you drop the Drake, right? Look at that hand size, man. <laughs> bet he wishes he had a Fell Reaper right now. So many options. Um, really? I think Blade is pretty decent there. I'm ready to learn. Okay, Sap. Yes, yeah, it's, it's too slow. It's too good not to Sap, you're right. Yeah. Toshley is so slow. It's like a Sylvanas or something. Wow. This game is over. Yes. Zlay just crushing right now. Crush that well. So, <laughs> we come to a conclusion that the Sap was better this turn than the last turn. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But, uh, yes, even Sap worked out. So you now force of nature concede. No, you're you're not dead. Um, what? You can get a doomsayer. You can get a second swipe. You can get a doomsayer. That's true. I guess that is what you go for too. No, oh, it's a swipe. Is you're still dead with swipe. Your play is doomsayer. Yeah. So you how many how many two mana minions are there? Like twenty-seven or something? Sixty-eight. Sixty-eight. Is it God, 68 where did I come minions? up with twenty-seven? <laughs> Excuse me, what? Two mana minions. Sixty-seven. Okay. No, no. There's like seven of them. There's Doomsayer. There's Millhouse Mana Storm. There's there's Succubus. There's Lightwell. Oh yeah, that's that's nice. Lore yeah, Walker no. There's Cho. there's Laura Walker Cho, Matt Pagel. And explosive sheep. There's yeah. There's seven <laughs> two-drop minions. And there's, there's and don't tell me anything else because that's all I've ever seen out of him. Haven't you seen Whirling Zapmatic when you're at six life? Actually, I have seen a Whirling Zapmatic. That's super rare though. <laughs> and that's uh, like a one in sixty-seven card. Double Savage Roar or double Rock Biter for that. <laughs> oh, bagel. Look, not you're bagel. right. Yeah, you're right. One in seven. Yeah. I told you. I know what I'm talking about. It's fifteen percent. All right. <laughs> You're getting there. It's closer. I'm getting there. It's closer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, well done there by Zelay. Yeah. Nice strong first win. I We've actually seen Rogue get pretty wrecked on uh, on our stream so far, and uh, winning the first game with it seems pretty good because in the conquest format you had just have to win one. True. Yeah. Uh, well, what were the bans? I actually, we don't have the bans. We have what their decks uh, were, but uh, I can assume it's both hunters. It could be. Last time Hyped actually banned Zelay's Mage because he wasn't sure what it was. Yeah, but now he knows for sure. Oh, it was played on the other stream? I, I don't know, but I would guess so. I yeah, I would imagine it probably was. So If it was Freeze Mage, he may have still banned that because that's what he was saying he was a little bit nervous about. Mm -hmm. Oh, there was a Hunter, Hunter from Oh, okay, so... Zelay, so he did ban you know, the Mage. I, yeah, I think I Hyped think. banned the Mage again, Oh, maybe probably. the Shaman. Oh, he could have. He was saying that that just like shreks him pretty hard on his druid. But well, when you have double mech warper, he was talking. To you. Yeah, well, that was a ridiculous draw. Oh, look in their face. It is a face hunter. So, so you have to get. I always assume that hunter's going to be a druid. So keep the innervate. Keep the wrath. Yeah. That's. Where's the wild growth? You don't need wild growth against hunter. Yeah. You need keeper. He does need Keeper. Okay. But I would keep the Wrath and the Innervate here. Mm -hmm. I and I would just be like, all right, come on, Keeper. You have two turns to go. keep it. a Wolf Rider? So it's, you know. Oh, Hunter? Yeah, it looks pretty decent to keep. I would definitely keep Lepreno and 
Oh yeah, you glaive Zuka. Glaive yeah, Zuka. Those, those yeah. But do you keep the wolf rider? Nah, I question. don't think so. You you can you you should play the wolf rider on turn five. Yeah, I would rather get like another one drop or something. I think. Yeah. I don't you think it's terrible. Rider. I don't think it's terrible to keep it. Okay. But like, when you play against Druid, you want to. That's a golden hunter, by the way. He's oh no he's way! He's done this face game a few thousand times. Yeah. Well, it's I can imagine Druid too. So imagine how many Druids of the Claw he has played. <laughs> think about that for a moment. Okay. <laughs> More charges or more taunts? What do you guys think? Uh, charges. Roman. More charges? Yeah. Taunts. No, I, I go with the charges. taunts, actually. Well, I mean, you raise it in, up mostly in, on the in ladder, ladder, right? In ladder, I usually just, like, zerg people down. You zerg them down! Oh, That's man. That's what they try to do to you. I, I just love the terminology. All right. That's the usual thing, what you want to do against the druid and when you play face hunter. You drop those one health minions to push druid into... Um, like ab avoiding efficient mana usage from yeah. the druid, so he has to use his hero power every single turn. Mm -hmm. There's another one. Oh, there's that wolf rider. This will be rare. That was definitely the best play. <laughs> oh, that's the keeper. Ooh. But the, now he just wraps. You think wrath over? Yeah. You the wrap, innervate the draw keeper. Draw a card. Yeah. And hmm. No, no, no. no. Y you have to keep the innervate now. Um, to make a, an example, or something. Like Every combo or whatever. And okay. the How does Face Hunter deal with Kashi? Hunter's Mark. Hunter's knife Mark juggler, knife. knife. Not that many people are playing Hunter's Mark. Oh, looks Not today, at least. Yeah, just Rain yeah, Ed so maybe. far yeah. that I've seen. That wasn't really You face can hunter. play Drake yeah. now, and you should. Oh, wow, yeah, a second innervate. That's sick. Yeah, so <laughs> <roar>. Savage Roar. <laughs> Two to face. That was actually it. That was pretty good. Top deck that. You have two turns planned. Yeah. Like, easily. Look at this. Look at this curve. Four, five, six, and then on seven, you Savage Roar with another Turn innervate six might be different, because if you have three creatures on board, you can just yeah. go Savage Roar and yeah. burst the damage. But Toshly, he's a sniper rifle. And that face hunter draw is not good at all. You can't... Spare the damage for minions on, uh, against Druid because then you lose. Yeah, they have too much health. Usually. Yeah, so you just have to go face with everything yeah, you can. Yeah. And you have two weapons. So it's actually better now to use the Eagle Home Bow and then go face with Eagle Home Bow next turn and probably play Clave Zuka and Hero Power. Yeah. But this means. Man. Hyped will stack damage so fast. Yeah, Hyped is just crushing face right now. This is really rough. Okay, this is where you actually you, you quick shot this four three and you it gets you the doomsayer that we've been talking about. Yeah, that's that's a cool. one in seven. So, mm -hmm. hmm. well, still, if you want to win, I think you have to go with the bow attack, glaive zuka, hero power. But that's eight. No. God, if you want to win, I I think you have to do it. Mm -hmm. I don't see a. a how do you win if you, an example, now trade for the for the piloted shredder, or or you just quick shot it? It doesn't really matter because you count on a one to twenty outcome for yeah. a positive thing for you. Lothar. Oh, face. Yeah. Wow. All I agree right. With that. Yeah. No, he's going for it. Okay, that's better than yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's just he's saving in case he gets a charge minion. Like a Wolf Rider is a pretty sick draw. Like Arcane Golem is a pretty sick draw. Yeah, that's a good one too. Well, not not now. Yeah, that's yeah. a taunt minion right what? there. You need uh, an Owl. With an Owl, you lose. That one Sludge Belcher just tank tanked like 8 points of damage. Yeah, it's not even just Sludge Belcher. It's the Where fact that there's a... Uh, oh. Oh, wow. wow. So he's, he's like set it, set serious. He's setting up lethal next to him. Yeah, he knows there's seven. no way that oh. Hunter can kill him. What's the maximum damage output, output that Hunter can do for five points of da uh, five points no, of mana? It's, it's Arcan Golem double Abyss of Sergeant, right? That's the maximum you can dish out. Yeah, eight. Mm. There has to be something more. No, I mean he could do. That. Yeah, no, yeah, that's it. That is eight. You're right. So, Huck Hunters, no, right? <laughs> <laughs> Took me a moment. 
Yeah, I mean, that's just, it's lethal, like, no matter what here. Yeah. Well played, Unless but you Well, here you, if you think he has Savage Roar, I guess you could kill Command this 4-3 and hope that you get that. Uh... <laughs> no, he will just kill Command's no, place. Of course. Oh, never mind. I think he's still dead. Yeah, he is dead. Yeah, yeah. If the Savage Roar oh, just kills really him straight. really dead now. Sorry. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, it's... Cast both. The swipe doesn't kill him at all. Yeah. But it's there for X damage. It is. If you need it later. Just in case he lived past that somehow. Yeah. So that went fast. Yeah, I know. These two are actually crushing each other. This is kind um, of brutal. N yeah. It's a 1 1. Hyped preparing to battle a friend. Waiting for the next game to start. Ah. So, uh, Hyped here probably has. Because we don't know the band still, because we're. Not looking for some reason. It's you have to like lean over on this. It's Mage and Rogue. It's a big lean, man. It's it's a late. big lean, and it's been a long day. Yeah. And I don't have any big leans left in me. I All certainly right. don't. Game's starting up. Let's see it. All right, he's going right back. To so he room. didn't ban the shaman, so nope. he had to ban the mage. Yeah. Again. Interesting. Yeah. So Zale has to play the freeze mage, right? Otherwise, he wouldn't ban it. Uh. Well, hype said he doesn't know. So it's possible that we Frodan banned the mage? Frodan, yeah. yeah, I'm not sure, because obviously Hyped would have asked Frodan. Yeah. So, which but means probably, I would guess that Frodan probably didn't ban the mage, and it was Freeze. So he's like, okay, it's Freeze. So then Hyped would ban it again, because he doesn't want to play against that. So that makes sense. Hmm. So you play against a mech shaman, and what do you look for? Deadly poison, blade flurry. Yeah, yeah. You gotta so get the you blade just mulligan everything away. I think uh, you know Zillia has double fell reaver, and that's not a creature you can like afford to leave on the board. But double fell reaver is like you play against handlock, and you need an eviscerate fell nose backstab to deal with that. Well, that's that's my point. You, like you kind of need sap as well. I don't like this at all. Keeping those three. That was actually a little bit surprising. Huh. Okay. Well. Well, we have a turn two mech warper, three power mace, four fell reaver, but that, that mech warper. Don't you like play. turn two uh, hero power into power mace, attack phase, or kill an agent of ours here? Yeah. No, I like mech warper. To, like get, to get a bigger mech warper on turn four and hero power? Huh. I would like that. Because yeah. yeah. now you lose the mech warper with, like. No outcome. And you don't have to rush the, the rogue, to be honest. Mm. That's a lava burst. I just realized that. <laughs> yeah, that is a lava burst, you're right. I guess plan, uh, Zalia's plan is to add leather shock in the top 8. Huh. <laughs> That's it's just going to be two cards different on round of 8 if he makes it there. Yeah. Okay. So well. now it's power mace, attack yeah. phase. Yeah, I like power mace phase. Yeah, but now it makes sense because he drew the pile of treasure, yeah. Well, I mean, he has a lot of mechs in this deck, so he probably... I think this is, like, almost as many mechs you could possibly fit into a shaman. Yeah, it seems that way, at least. I mean, I've seen mech shaman, but I've never seen fell reaver even in mech shaman. That's that's too... Yeah, but yeah, it makes sense. It. You don't, you can't draw cards in mech shaman. Yeah. Basically, it's even worse yeah. than mech mage. In mech mage, you can... Use maybe the other Me Mech Mage has reasonable sustain with some draws. It, well, he has Mirror Entity. It's basically like a draw. Yeah. Mm. And he had Mad Scientist, which is also then you like have a Azure draw. Azure Drake, which is like actually a draw. Yeah, but most people are cutting uh, the yeah. Azure Drake. But I, I Mad, Mad Scientist, Mad Scientist is, is just a draw and three points of mana most of the time. So this is why you play Fall Reverse in Shaman. Makes sense. Yeah. Good call. Yeah, that is really cool, actually. Is this the exact match that so opened up the, their first game in their first no, matchup no, earlier? No. It was against uh, a Druid, Druid, right? Yeah, and yeah. he just like really super crushed it with that. Without a so. MC tech, it's unwinnable. Yeah, yeah. Or innervate Shannon against turn one. Yeah. Or t turn two, Doctor Boom. It doesn't seem like it, it, it's doable at all. Oh, he didn't attack. The, no, he that's pretty that's crazy. really interesting. I mean, um, Zalei didn't attack on turn three. Yeah, yeah. 
I was a little bit confused about that because it'd be nice to get the pilot. Well, going. he plays around sap. This way. Yeah. One, so he will two, just two. drop the pilot shredder and now attack face? Mm, no. no. Oh, he does. Oh. Yeah, okay. Because now um, Hyped has to play the sap to avoid the buffed attack, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. He doesn't want to buff ahead of time, I guess. Sure. Yeah. Hmm. So that does make sense then. Let's see what drop a mech. Oh, that's not One free. That's not bad. You can buff your sh uh, totems. Yeah, that's true. Or win fury creatures. Oh, that's awesome. Or you could make the Fell Reaver a nine attack. So sick. So the thing is, if he actually plays Fell Reaver, he's going to lose a considerable portion of his deck immediately. <laughs> Crip, why doesn't th that Fell Reaver doesn't have a stealth? Uh, actually, that's kind of funny. Yeah, in in World of Warcraft, you'd always be like doing some some dumb quest in Hellfire Peninsula, and this Fell Reaver, which was like. Mm. More than the size of what you could see on your screen, yeah, and more levels than you could realize and like defeat would just like literally stomp on you. So it was like an ultimate enemy or something. It okay. was. It just roamed around Did the like great some newbies Kriparian, out. No life, Kriparian beat it. Yeah, you beat it when you're like max level with good gear. But really? at that level, is so did you ever go impossible. back and get revenge? Oh yeah, of course. Okay, good. But it's 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 kind of hilarious. Um, it was it was one creature that people could only um, like realize was around them if they had game game sounds on. Oh, it would really? Make this really, like ridiculous like I guess kind of like a sounds. train sound or something. But a lot of people wouldn't play with sound. So they'd just be like killing some boar in Hellfire Peninsula, and then just get absolutely wrapped on by Fell Reaver. That's awesome. It just like step on him in one shot, and just, like from behind. I like stuff like that. <laughs> Look at that. 5-4 Zapomatic. We have to deal. kill that. <laughs> I would say so. So, so um, do you want to prep here? Drake prep eviscerate? Kinda sucks. No, no, no. Why not use Blood Mage here? So well, nice. Blood Mage... The Blood Mage doesn't achieve anything. Well, no, because you can get with your Phantom Knives, you can get rid of this 4 too. But you... Uh, oh, okay, you mean to use yeah. the prep too. Yeah. that, oh. Use oh, your own hand, man. It's cool. I'm tired, you know? Yeah, no, we all are. It's really, really late. Overkill by one. Second power maze. That's cool. You can get a 10-10. No, it's Fell Reaver time. 11. Yeah, Fell Reaver time, boys. It's definitely Fell Reaver time. That Fell Reaver's going to step on him. He doesn't even know he's there. <laughs> Should have had the game sound on. I Should well, I crit funny in his enough, party? it was actually rogues that probably escaped Fell Reaver the most. Oh, really? They, like stealth around and stuff. Yeah. How many times did it actually kill you? Oh, I don't know, like ten. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's kind of exact crazy. number. But you, you couldn't even kill that thing if you were max level with like decent gear most of the time. I that's awesome. I I like stuff like that. That's uh, that almost makes me want to play that game. I think they just nerfed that content so hard that. Probably kill it about that level now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's old content. Yeah. So he's thinking about lava shocking what? the Drake, right? No, oh, no. no. If you fell Reaver, Reaver you just trade. run the the four two in. It's your last. Oh game. yeah, right. You, I was like looking at the Cogmaster. Why does yeah. it have a bob with two? Yeah. Oh, right. I actually don't understand why there would be any decision making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At all. Well, I think he's just right. being really careful because he really wants to go forward. Yeah. Maybe he's bluffing that he has decent plays with <laughs> those two cards. And look, it is the nine. Well, I mean, I was that about. that was a decent play. It's, yeah. There's no bluff required. <laughs> I mean, with the other cards. Yeah. And um, hype is kind of. He's in trouble. Yeah, I wanted to say something different, but yeah, so that, that's better. Yeah, that's. Uh, PG way of saying it. You Drake? He needs to fan into a sap. That's what he needs. Oh, that's awful. No, that'd be great, man. How, how many cards does he have in the deck? Let me see. Uh, 19. And so he's used one sap, so he's got a 1 in 19 chance. He used one sap? When? No, he hasn't. Not in this game. Oh, the last game. Or a different game. So he I has don't know. I watch a lot of rogues sap a lot of stuff. Today. So what is yeah, the percentage that's of the rogues? Uh, that's because the rogues don't tend to win their conquest like game. Ten percent. 
more than 10% even. Jeez. Yeah, usually when it's more than 10, I just go with 11. Just pretend <laughs> to be smart. 11%. <laughs> 11. That sounds good to me. Yeah. God, go, he really go waits. Hyped is freaking me out. Oh. Oh, that's 10 points of damage. So that's lethal next turn? Three? No. So, how many points of damage does that show? Five? Yeah, it's five. <laughs> it can be tricky. We haven't seen that card in a long time. <laughs> it's one of lethal. <laughs> wait, wait, but if he rolls a spell power totem, it's lethal, right? No. Uh, he six <laughs> plus nine plus one plus three? That sounds like lethal to but, me. But you, but that's chat Not lethal with uh, one mana too much. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay. So he needs to have already played a Tarzan. Huh. I think the play is pretty simple. I think you just um, go face. Yeah, I think you totem first actually. I think you totem first, then you whirling zapomatic power mace. I think you kill the one one Thalnos because the one spell damage yeah. will make a big difference here. Mm -hmm. Definitely true. But you can, s you should set up lethal for next turn. I would I'll attack it for nine. I, I think just that. hitting nine face and yeah. power mace development is setting up lethal. Might be this case. Yeah. I might that, that might be the case. Yeah. Oh look, you can even heal. You nailed it, Chris. The yeah. sword smell. Yeah, that is a scary amount of damage. Holy crap, that is definitely lethal next turn. Well, he has anti heal ball, let's see. That doesn't save him. Oh, boy. Unless he draws a sap. Yeah, it doesn't save And, nope. Um, hmm. And you can't bleed through anything. Nope. This is really painful. Hmm. Look that healing taught. He's ready to do damage too. You, He's ready to go you to have battle. to. Uh, you have to uh, fanatize. But he's still most likely dead. Okay, so he's gonna just try to draw a sap. Yeah, but that's not good enough. We know that's not good enough. <gasps> Fell reverse. All right. So that's two one. Yep. Yeah. Zelle in the lead. I'm Again, scared the rogue's this really struggling. Like, for almost everyone. Dude, this shaman deck is actually doing pretty well so far today, too. I think there's also, like, there's a trend that we've been seeing with rogues. Yeah. They're not playing a specific card that may or may not be very good. Which is? <laughs> Innervate? You're right. No one is playing Gang Up Rogue. Oh, okay. And after our 1-4 performance this morning at I, rank 10 I, on the I ladder. Just, I just remember everyone in the room saying how... Oil Rogue is just too good not to use. And then this happens. I think they were saying Gang Up Rogue was too bad to use. I think that was closer to what the message was, you know? I, I think there was... I think I think my, my message might be a direct quote from uh, at least one person. Who? I don't know. Someone. <laughs> could be, though. Yeah, someone could have said that. <laughs> we don't really have original thoughts in our heads. Humans have been around for like a million years, man. Someone said this before. <laughs> All right. Looks uh, like its next okay. one is going to be Hunter up against Rogue. I have to restart yeah. the second Goodbye, Rogue. client. Could be. If he had over 100 points of heal like we did this morning, though. Yeah, he might win. He might be able to do it, but I don't see a single gang up in this deck. Nope. How are you ever going to do it? Mm, it's pretty decent. Yeah. Prep fan deadly poison. Whoa. Yeah, not bad. You can get a nice spaghetti one. So many options. That's really. I need to turn. That's uh, that might be winning turn when you drop the huge advent on turn three. Yeah. Or the really huge advent on turn four. Hmm. Yeah. Turn four is really big. But I don't think you can afford to wait. No, uh, you have to drop it. Drop it like it's hot. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Look at how you pretend like he might do something here. Oh, that's so sweet. The pretending is the best guy. part. 
Yeah. It's basically like I'm playing against them in an arena right now. So <laughs> many options. I can only imagine what were you saying when I was thinking about the turn one play at Mech Mage with three one drops. Um, actually, I think there was reasonable in a strategy in that one. But I don't think you, you picked like the best one. Yeah. It didn't work out to be the best, at least. <laughs> that that was fact. Yeah. Hmm. I kind of like this play. You like the attack? Yeah. Because if you're prepping something, it's probably not deadly poison. No, certainly. <laughs> So if, you uh, drop you, you're definitely putting him on Phantom Knives here. If Hyped fails to advance, that's that's 3 for Tempo Storms. Ooh. Actually, Ooh, don't worry. Gara plays tomorrow. Yeah, He'll Gara for sure plays. advance. <laughs> but Gara has not touched the Kuparian yet. Did the other guys touch you? No, but Gara's done the touch the Kuparian thing in both the last time I've casted him. And yeah. he's so he's the best like options. best finisher. Yeah, best finisher in both. Uh. It was um, first in Bucharest. Yeah. yeah. And uh, first non Chinese at WCA. That's true, yeah. Good moves, good moves. Yeah, very much so. Here comes that one of Hunter's Mark that we've never seen before in Zelle's Hunter. <laughs> Is this game frozen over here? Oh, wow. I think so. Come wow. on. Oh, that's nice. That's insane. Yeah, that's a good draw. I think that way, we actually froze over on this screen. Yeah, I think, I think so. we got to okay. rejoin that. If you, yeah. Go Top that. dicked. Look at that. <laughs> that's just unfair, man. Mm. Height, height is getting just beat up right now. By the way, Edwin and... The World of Warcraft TCG was broken as hell. Was he? Yeah. And he, his price, like in you know, single shops, no, were won. about $200 okay. for one card. What? Yeah. He better have been golden. No, he wasn't. But promo, Edwin, was like $500. Oh my god. Oh no, was it a promo? I'm like, I can't remember. I but the, so. the normal one was broken. Did you as have hell. one? Everyone had four. Four Edwins. If if you wanted to be competitive, everyone had four. Yeah, that's like eight hundred dollars. Yeah, just four cards. That's expensive. Yeah. I had some very expensive magic decks myself, but that's like, that's pretty high up there. Mm. And like people complain about Hearthstone being magic paid to win, right? Serious. Well, I mean, Most you want to play real pay to win, yeah. man. You try some of the things that aren't online cards. I definitely spent more on magic than Hearthstone. <laughs> man, how much money I spent on wool. I mean, TCG. Better not to think about it. Alright. Well, it looks like File Teacher's mm. pretty good. So it looks Pay like he's gonna play class. File Teacher. Oh, there he goes. File that admin is so sad. That is really sad. Mm -hmm. Trade for the owl. Look at all those weapons. He needs to calm down on these weapons, man. God. <laughs> I think so I you like, drop uh, the Glaive Zuka yeah, and the like second Zuka Zuka quick shot. Yeah, of course. Yeah. No, I like Glaive Zuka quick I shot. To yeah. trade. What if you want to draw it Unleash the Hounds? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> With this man, no, 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 no. It's definitely Glaive Zuka quick shot here. Very uh, careful, deliberate play here from these guys, by the way. Yeah. They're definitely taking their time. <laughs> Look at Hyped oh, looking at that move again <laughs> before it goes off the screen. He's like, Ugh. He's really like I'm not going to go to the round of 16 because of that. This Edwin is not worth $200. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Because you know he's looking at it and he's like, Damn it. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to win any money at this event because of that owl. <laughs> and he saw it come out as the card that was drawn to. He's like, oh. Yeah. And that owl is worth 20 dust. 20 dust. And that's a golden Van Cleave. Yeah. You know what? You're right. I'm only going to I'm gonna play a basics only deck. It seems good. Owl is not basic. Owl's not basic? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's a common. That's... 
why it's worth 20 dust. How much is a basic? Oh wait, you can't use a basic. Your power. <laughs> Bam. How did you know? Nailed it. Nailed it. Backstab. That's nice. That's always nice. Yeah, I have a feeling backstab is going to be played this turn. You think so? Good you call. might be right about that. Good chance. Uh, good call. Better call Saul. So many options. Does he go for a race type situation here? Can Backstab, you do that? tinker. Whoa. Attacking for a million. That would be lethal. Backstab the face. Can't. He's damaged. Oh. Oh, look. That's so bad. This is actually, he's very unlucky. I feel very bad for Slay right now. I was already thinking with three weapons. I'm like, damn, I hate when that happens, but four. That's quad. That's four. You know how many turns this is going to take him? Six uh, turns to attack that many times. 800. Yeah. This game is going to be decided before that. Is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Maybe there's a sabotage. Yeah. It can happen. I heard that card's good. That's true. That would mean that would only be five turns for him then. That's really great. It could be four if he does something foolish like play it ahead of time. Wonder. He could go. No, that would be so bad. Oh my god, that would be so bad. Yeah. He'd totally lose the sabotage because he'd only have four turns where his face hits one. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Playing around possible gang ups by removing the, the heal bot. Hmm. Turn seven. But you can't really afford that, right? Do you race? I think you race. You just play yeah. Deadly Poison and yeah. Tinkers and go boom. Totally. That's so much damage. And you can Seven. even drop the Thalnos just for Ten. the draw. 13. Yeah, yeah. But afterwards, not first. It looks very lethally if you do it. And with all these weapons in hand, oh man. Go for it. I Do it. Uh, can you can you stop rushing hype? Oh, sorry. Yes. Okay. I want hype to take his time. Tomorrow's life coach. Place. Prepare for that. <laughs> well, it, it <laughs> it's still a minute thirty. It is. It is. Sometimes it feels like longer. Yeah. But you have to fill that with words. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of damage, fellas. That is a very easy lethal coming up. So And that is not a good draw. Do you draw Gladiator's Bow? It's turn seven. And it would it would What hit. do you mean? That's that's a pretty good draw. What the it Oh is, yeah it, it is. is. The, it turns out the spiders make little dudes, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, that's nice. But you're most likely still dead. Um you're not dead to the to the hand, you dead probably two draws, but yeah. 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 Well that's what I know. And the, the camera dude is spoiling. Well, the here's results, here's right? what happens, guys. He plays Doctor Boom next. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. That's a disaster. Oh no. Now you're dead. Unless. Yeah. Now you're dead. Yeah. Now you're dead. Yeah. And there's a Drake. Please show us the next next draw. I want to see if it's, if it would be legal. It doesn't matter because you would probably have to play a charge minion to win, and then the knife would hit the boom bot, and it would. It would have him. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that wouldn't be lethal. Yeah, but he has the Drake. He needs it. Oh, now play it, play it, play it. We want to see it. Why oh, don't you draw the Drake? On. I wish this was like a traditional card game where you can just check your next yeah, cards. We actually talked about the spectator, but what should be added? And that was one of the options. Yeah, that I would be love added. to see my next card just well, so I could get Hype even angry. still in it now. 2-2 two, two evened it up. Yeah, the fifth game. The Rogue gets one. But uh, the hunter didn't, and that's that's something you don't really want to face too much of. No, I guess not. Um, What's left for hyped? Uh, mage, I think. Yeah, right. We don't know the band, right? We don't actually know the band, but I mean they played each other before, and he banned the hunter, so I'd imagine. <sighs> but actually, yeah, I don't know. Mm. I I imagine that's it. Okay. If it's the mage, then it's kind of even, right? Yeah. Unless, draws are. unless I think face Hunter, is Hunter gets both Mad Scientists really early on, gets the value from that. Yeah. We'll see. 
Mitch. Oh, Mitch. Okay. All right. Oh, that's a good draw. Uh, yeah, that's a good draw because you guarantee those cards are yeah, you can back get up your deck. <laughs> <laughs> but most of the time, it happens, happens like that. You mulligan those away, and you draw them in the yeah, first uh, turn. Right away. That's like yeah. actually a rule of Hearthstone, the way that works. Yeah. And if you have two of it in your deck, it comes right back. You watch Second Harvest Golem right in the hand. I actually did some testing when I was so pissed about the draws in those situations. I put one golden card and one non-golden card just to see if that's the same card with Mulligan. And it's and teasing you, right? Yeah, it's teasing. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> so against the mage, I think you want to keep the eagle okay. home bow. Wait, 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 I, I got to ask you guys something, right? Because I look at this, the way that they both count down so long, and I feel like one of them is doing it in response to the other one doing yeah. it. That's who is the one that is actually the one deciding to do this, and who is the one that is deciding Both. to do it in response? Because I feel, I, but one person decides. I I feel like a lot of the time, like when I play a match, like I'm only gonna at a reasonable rate. But if they're really slow, I'll be slow. Just be like, all right, you're not getting a leg up on me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Like, yeah, you know, I I just sit there and I'm like, come on, man, come on. <laughs> you stream sniper. I mean, sometimes you wait a minute 30 against, like, someone who goes turn one and then just passes after, like, a minute 30 with Well, one maybe mana. he was getting something to drink. Yeah, but, like, when you go first with one mana and then don't play anything for a minute 30, it's, yeah, that's the most annoying for me. I wonder. Hello, hello, hello. That owl, pure value, mm -hmm. this time. I think it's reasonable to actually kill the owl with the McWarper. Yeah, I think so too. Totally. How do you deal one damage? With Hunter? Two Wolf Riders. Two Wolf Riders? Huh? The Anoyatron. Uh, we were talking about the McWarper. Yeah. The one damage to the McWarper is kind of annoying. I'll use the house, man. Yeah, I suppose. Well, that's also okay. That's a pain. But you draw, you, you drop the Med Scientist, right? Yeah. Oh no, you are King Golem. Oh, that's also great play. <laughs> Tell him. It survives the hit. It takes the Divine Shield. Yeah, no, it's, it's the one tanky minion in this deck. And it breaks the <laughs> mana usage of the of the uh, mate because he has to ping it. Yeah, his, well, his yeah. curve gets messed up too because he might have a three drop he wants to do and now he has to do like a ping or he has to do a four drop. Yeah, or he has to play the Goblin Blast Mage, which just devastates a hunter. Oh wow, that's a passive turn. So Tinker Town Technician. Ouch. Yeah, of course. What's the plan here? You drop Mad Scientist Hero Power next turn, or Mad Scientist Hunter Creeper, but that's basically it. Next, no, he draws uh, Unleash. It's by okay. far the best play. Oh yeah, you draw oh, the God. weapon because that's what you draw always. Yeah. If I didn't know better, he has like four of those Eagle Arm bows in there. <laughs> The same as well. Yeah, Glaive Zookas too. Yeah, Pork Glaive Zookas. I'm like, I don't know if you need that many. Do games even last that many turns that you could use all those? It's just such efficient, like, damage per card. Yeah. Especially when there's an Iotron. Well, not then. No. Did you think that an Iotron will be so powerful when you saw that uh, as a preview? I still think it's pretty bad. Oh, okay. Never mind. Then. You're one of those guys. Yeah, I'm one of those guys. A great man once said that. Mech Mage is just 28 cards and two Noah Johns. That was the foot yeah. hi foothill? Footman? Oh, never mind. Go try your footman. Yeah. I, just, I never, I never I play these like early game fight for the board type of decks. I always play control with like mid game board players. Do you players. play constructed? Yeah, when I do, I play like at, at the very fastest level mid game controls with board clears. Yeah. I'm like a Noyatron. Well, I guess I'll take two damage before all its friends die. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, it's all right. Hateful. Yeah. And then in Arena, Anoyatron very, very rarely does anything. It's just that uh, two threes have gotten, gained a lot of favor in Arena. Because people pick stuff like Anoyatron. <laughs> Explosive trap. All right. That's uh, okay. Small charge. Now you can't 
You didn't use the second ignore bowl. Yeah, seriously. That's a that's Never. the real issue here. It's it's the Never. It's like, so you want weapons. I'll give you weapons. <laughs> Well, now you play clearing as face hunter, or do you go face? You're losing the race. Yeah, really, it looks like really it. badly. So you have to wolf rider into the four two. Yeah. Do what you about, play the leopard gnome, or do you use hero? What power? about killing the mech? Because, you know, do you play around blast mage? I think you can't afford to. Yeah. yeah. It's just too much damage. No, you just won't. pretend he doesn't have blast mage. Just tell yourself to top deck it. Blink when he when he plays out of his hand. It it looks very bleak for Zalde. Yeah. And the beginning of the series looks so good. Yeah, but then he draw two weapons, man. Two yeah. weapons. No, he well, at least it wasn't four weapons, right? I have to say I don't. I'm not like, oh man, that's so unlucky to play face hunter and draw too many <laughs> weapons. <laughs> oh man, that sucks for him. <laughs> Ready to ride. Oh, that's right, like it. Yeah, he has to do it though. The hero power doesn't help anything. He's well, never Mac gonna Mage win a race. doesn't care. Hmm. He's like, oh, I just dropped the blast mage and warring blade go face. You don't want to drop the clock gnome. It's just a uh, something that will be useful unless the hound. Yeah. Okay, that's unlucky. Yeah, it's actually very unlucky. Eh, go to face. Yeah, Whirling blade, go drop to face. the Whirling Blades and go face. You will draw a Fireball next turn. Most likely. Yeah. And Hunter can't afford to clear to with do? weapon. What yeah, that weapon do? is... So he has to use those uh, minions anyway. Yeah, there's no, no reason to ever drop clear. It. No. I think it's okay to drop that. I, I, I do prefer the Whirling Blades ready. just because like the one way you might be able to come back is a sick unleash. Yeah. Quick shot. That's not usable with that weapon. That's really, really bad for Zale. Oh boy. Team Seer time? Yeah, I think so. Really? It's what time? Doom Seer. Doom Seer. <laughs> that would be nice. That's that's the final level of desperation. I, I mean, I think I would actually arcane into this 5 4. You won't, mate? Huh? Never mind. You wouldn't arcane into the 5 4? First check for the I think Doomsayer. a quick shot. Oh, yeah, yeah the 4 3. Yeah, that's the first move, but then it doesn't give you Doomsayer. Then what? Watch, it gives explosive Mez sheep. Mez has a trumpet. Explosive sheep, explosive that's sheep a, is great. That's a 2 out of 7 hmm. is actually a good move. Explosive sheep is terrific. Yeah. Because the, the battle cry will trigger. Uh, oh, it doesn't go for it. Kind of interesting. Hmm. So he keeps the mech mage. Uh, I mean, he keeps the mage for the mage. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. But I still think you can't win the race. Uh I mean, he has a lot of damage output here. But. But nothing else. But mage has a rusty horn. <laughs> well, you you don't just put him on the rusty horn and say, "I guess I have to. I have to play this different because he has rusty horn." Yeah, of course you do. We we see the both hands. Oh, yeah. See, we're smart like that. Yeah. Why isn't Hype just commentating the game he's playing? He should. He sounds like uh, the dude from Suits. Does he sound like that? Yeah. The uh, Like the main guy? The, or? No, no, no. Not the main guy. The cat guy. The cat guy? Yeah. Like the, the guy that's like got big teeth, like a horse? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Like this dude. He really has similar voice to, to, to this. To, to I'm this gonna go. I'm gonna have to go talk to him, man, and, and check that out. I can't remember Recorded. what that guy's name is. So Rusty Horn the Harvest Golem and go face for fall. What to do? What to do? Yeah. Oh wait. Do you free fall? Oh, uh, whoops. Oh, crip. Crip. What? I don't know, man. Things are moving really slow. I thought, I thought there was time to like not click stuff. Let me click the second. Like no, if you do that, it crashes. I think. Really? Okay, yeah, I think I that's what happened it. before. I'll get back in and because we were trying to do that earlier oh, and it just wasn't working. Well, everyone we knows that there's I was, a second. I was order. responsible mm -hmm. for seeing seeing Zayle's cards and I failed you. Oh, sorry. 
Yeah, I'm so sorry. Um, Zaley basically had nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, Luke! Top deck up. Woof, woof. Uh, that's still... Wait. That's... That, that kind of gives him a turn. Unless one out of four, two frostbolts, two fireballs, and uh, blast mage too. So five, so five options to get lethal next turn. Yeah, he has eight. What's the last card? We didn't know. Oh, never mind. Cogmaster is not it. So you have now you have to kill the arcing golem and ping the hound. Yeah, and uh, drop the Whirring Blade and think about dropping the Cogmasters. Because mm. if this, if there would be a second Unleash the Hounds, you can die. Yeah? I don't think you put him on second Unleash, though, the way this game has gone. You'd have to top deck that. Oh, Mirror Entity. So, no. <laughs> He's bluffing Ice Block. <laughs> oh, vapor is that what that vaporize. Is? Oh man. Oh vaporize, that would be a sick play here. Yeah, there's, there's actually quite a few draws here for uh for Zilli. Uh well he deals five points of damage. I wonder. So he needs quick shot, wolf rider. Oh, if he plays Cogmaster, uh, yeah, he has a whole becomes lot. another one. Yeah, you you can't play the Cogmaster. You should have played the part to deal one more points of one more point yes. of damage. This turn, yeah. You're completely right about that. So the exhaustion hits. Yeah, very true. It's really hard to play at all offline events. Like uh, people. Yeah. What's he get? What's he get? That is uh, not it. it. So hyped will advance. No, yeah. no, he can kill off the guy and get a doomsday. Okay, you're right. But he didn't go for it. Yeah, he didn't actually try it. Could have won. Isn't that? Isn't that big? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. That definitely was a mistake. Yeah. I yeah. wish we could see what was inside of that. Yeah, now the inspector mode, we'll check it, and you like just move it around and yeah. open it. You just hold What's it. Inside? Pop. What's inside? What's yeah, inside? Yeah, right click and <laughs> pop. You know, right click pop. Yeah. Wow, that was very close. Yeah, it very was. close. Wow, extremely. close. That was pretty insane. So, so hype to all advance. Oh, yeah. we did it. So he was down uh, one two, and he had his rogue left, which is not working at all. And he pulled it back. So hype that was that was a big comeback. It really was. It was, was. was? was kind of slow paced, so it's kind of hard to notice. Yeah. Well, I mean, they were they were thinking pretty hard. Yeah. For sure. Hyped. Yeah. Welcome. Congratulations. Really, that was, hey. really that good was stuff. tight. Thank you. That was tight. Here you go. Right, you've, you've earned that. <laughs> Thank That's you. You got I the most of already. I played at the end. I should have taunted the shredder, and it almost cost me. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, that was uh, also the play that you suggested with the... Uh, I mean, for Zalei. He should have attacked the Palti Trader last time yeah. and get a Doomsayer. If he got a Doomsayer, he would have had another turn and possibly killed you with his draw. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you need to take those risks. That was a face hunter. You're good to go. Just oh, no, because <laughs> you no, no, had on board lethal on him. Oh, okay. There was, yeah. there was yeah. no other... Yeah. Yeah. You always got to pop those Shredders, man. Pop them. Oh, board. that last... Oh, I see, I see. The very yeah. last yeah. turn. Yeah. 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 Well, congrats. You Thank defended you. the Temple Stone honor. Yeah. Yeah. You're the first Temple Stone to qualify. Nice. Through the uh, the round of 32 to the 16. Yeah, that's uh. Gar can do it tomorrow. Yeah, no doubt. Gar always does. Uh, I mean, that was that was pretty close. You guys have any questions about the series? Um, is there like some mind games to just taking a long time? Yeah, we were thinking about that quite a bit because you guys were like taking the longest turns of the day. Like, I know far. a lot of plays are like hard and stuff, but it seemed to be like for every turn. Well, right now. It's just my brain's going really slow, and I don't want to like miss something. Okay, yeah, okay makes sense. So yeah. Wanna, yeah. It's one AM, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. these guys both came one from America 30. too, so it's like pretty bad jet lag, yeah. I would say. So yeah. makes sense. All right. Yeah. We, we've we've forgiven you. Twitch Thank has you. forgiven you. Pretty All cool. right. Yeah. Congrats so, again. Uh, congrats on that. Sorry, we, our interview is a little bit slow too. Our brains are shutting off, but uh, yep. Yep. it has been a long and fantastic day, guys. I hope that you have enjoyed Seat Story Cup. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go over the brackets real yeah, quick. We, we've only done like half the tournament through tab? this stream. Uh, uh, I'll tab, okay. Those yeah. that are just checking out here, you have to keep in mind uh, here at Take TV, we're doing two streams. We're doing uh, 
separate castings, separate parts of uh, of the tournament. Yep. Oops. We've basically covered half of the round of 32, uh, but we've only streamed half of that on this yeah. channel. Let's go ahead and, and throw it over to this screen right now. And we'll yeah. take a look. All right. So, of course, uh, we did end up casting this one and this one. So we saw uh, Savitz and Powder went up, Lothar and Hyped went up, and in these other groups... Oh, who was it that was saying Oskako was going to win this tournament? Stripeco went down? Wait, I think those are not all, all the matches, right? Stripeco has 0-1. No, they, this one isn't done yet, it looks like. Freak is waiting for the winner of Orange Stripeco. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this one isn't done yet, but that? Oskako getting first place in that group. Yeah, that's nice. I'll, Good stuff. I was rooting and for I can't, him. I can't remember because it's been such a long day, but someone said that they thought Oskako might e be able to win. Yeah, I think actually it was Ecop. Yeah. Yep. But a uh, really good call there. Sixa winning his group. Lash second place there. Sixo's has uh, shown the most dominant uh, results so far. Yeah. Well, he's uh, quite a good player, getting better and better results. And, uh, of course, we have some great matches tomorrow, yeah, guys. Basically, the, the, the second row of uh, group stage number one is going to be tomorrow. We're going to have uh, groups EFGH. Uh, I don't know what the uh, kickoff match is, but I like, uh, I like everyone in that first group. Oh, yeah, man. That entire first group is pretty sick. That might be the group of death there. Yeah, I think that is the group of death. Yeah. It's that or... D probably, right? I don't know. Group C was pretty sick, though, with Lothar beating it. No, oh, thank you. Yeah. That's so nice. I think that was the group of death, you two guys on my couch. That's not what Ecop said. No, that's not what he said at all. I think he actually said the opposite. I think he said, I hate Lothar. It was really <laughs> weird. Uh, yeah, we know. He, he's Polish. So. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay, okay. All right, so uh, that is going to do it for today. We're yep. going to start the same time tomorrow, guys, which is uh, so 2 p.m. CET. That's right, 2 p.m. CET. That's right. So uh, make uh, we sure were a little you bit tune in. Slow to get friends. started today, but you guys know when we have all new stuff, all new uh, setups and stuff, it takes a little bit to get going. Yeah. But uh, we should we should at least get started tomorrow a lot sooner. We got another theme tomorrow instead of those Mexican Mexican guys. Are you saying there's something wrong with the Mexican thing? No, no, no. I'm not saying it's something wrong. I think you need to take off that hat. <laughs> <laughs> You've lost hat <laughs> privileges. Get out of here. All right, so guys, this has been a lot of fun. I hope that you've enjoyed. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. Let everyone know. We want to get even better views and, and uh, see a lot of there's, great games. There's like some weird dudes here. What is I that? think there is. Well, this is how we, of course, have to close out the show tonight. So thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. See you guys.